What's your story? What 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 kind of story can you uh, tell us uh, this evening? A story of when I was seven. Okay. So, what happened when, when you were seven, seven years old? Years old. My when you were seven yeah. years old, Mom what happened? Me. Okay. Um. Cracked my head open. Was that it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. okay. I have failed this badly. Just uh, describe the, in best detail as best you can what happened when you cracked your head open. Okay, so I was, I was going to bed. It was like, I don't know, 8 Did o'clock. Did you fart? <laughs> no. I've always run mouth. It sounded like a fart. <laughs> Okay, okay, continue with your story. Okay, so it, it was like 8 o'clock. I had just gone to, gone to bed. I was 7 years old. So, um... Once you were 7 years old. Okay, I... What happened when you were 7? If you would like to let me explain. Well, explain it, man. Okay, well now I have to restart again. Okay, okay. you start again. Wait, smokes, it's only been a month. Just keep, don't okay. worry about that. so... When I was seven years old, it was like eight o'clock. I had just gone to bed, and I shared a room with my I thought step. happened in the morning. No. It happened at night. Yeah. And you went to bed like that. Yeah. And you woke up in the morning with. Okay, go ahead. Tell your story. Yeah. Okay, so I I shared a room with my stepbrother, and um. Was this your older stepbrother or your younger stepbrother? My younger stepbrother. So yeah, I was, I was on the top bunk of a bunk bed, and I tried. I was gonna try and show him something. How do you feel about a bunk bed? How do you feel about bunk beds? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you give a care? Do you care? No. You, you don't care. I don't care. Okay. I. Yeah. Okay. Was it a pink bunk bed? Was it a big metal pink bunk bed? No. Or was it a wooden one? It was metal. It was metal. White. It was a white one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it. Okay. <laughs> carry on with your story. Okay. So, yeah, but it had Marvel superhero stickers on it. So yeah. Like all all the female ones, all the female. No. Ones. No. <laughs> no. Like Wolverine. Like the, the, the little girl, Wolverine, the, is it X-23? No, not X-23. Wasn't it X-22? No, it was X-23. Right. Okay, well, it had like, it had me. the Avengers on okay, it. Okay, is that the girl Avengers, like Wasp? No. And Poison Ivy? No. Okay, keep going. <laughs> she is not Marvel. Well, you got something right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, so... That's actually kind of coincidence, but yeah, it's a coincidence because I was trying—I was trying to hang off my my top bunk of the bed like Spider-Man, mm-hmm. like just grab on with my feet and my hands, okay. and I was trying to show my stepbrother this. Yeah. But you he know, wasn't spiders listening. don't actually do that in real life. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah. They, they don't. They don't hold when they're on. Making- they don't hold on like that. And they like do, this. No, they, do, they, don't, they, don't, they do it to their webs. They don't do this. No, I was upside down. Doing this? Yes. Oh, okay. I was upside down. Okay, I understand what you mean then. Yeah, I thought you were standing up and doing that because no. Spider-Man in the comics has done that standing up as well. Yeah, I was doing it upside down like I was hanging to a web. Right. And I thought I was doing it pretty good. So mm-hmm. I was trying to show my stepbrother Wait, this. Wait, you have socks on? I don't know. Well, just because so- socks and metal tend to no, know, no, not I didn't work very well. It's slippery that way. No, because my dad always told me not to wear socks to bed. Yeah. So I stopped when I was like six yeah. or seven. Because when you sweat in bed, and your socks are sweaty, you'll get what you you know you have recently is athlete's foot. It happens to me all the time. Okay, okay, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's been five minutes and I haven't yeah. even told half the story. Tell your story. Well, then let me. Let's uh, tell it. Okay, so 
back to what I was saying. Well, just, just tell the story. Don't so yeah, I was, I was hanging on my bunk bed trying to show my stepbrother. Mm-hmm. And I was hanging on Spider-Man. I really wanted to show him this because I, I was some reason proud of it. I'm not Even sure Even this, this is the first time you've ever done it? Yes. Yeah, but you're was, proud that was, you could show him that you could do it, even though you've never done it before. Yeah. So you're not even sure. No, no, no. No, that when I no, I had uh, I've done it before. Mm-hmm. Just when, like. No one was looking. Yeah. Okay. So I tried to show him this while it was upside down. And like, mm, pss, pss. he wasn't listening. I thought he was asleep. And honestly, I forget how I was gonna get back up. Okay. Hanging upside down, but. So you were just gonna fall. That's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. I it's, it's it's like when you're uh, ice skating and you don't know how to stop. You just slam right into the, <laughs> the board. <laughs> that's how that's how you stop. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, except for this this time, instead of you know, into landing on your feet somehow, you just drop on your head. Yeah. Because that works. Yeah, at least I didn't die. So or what, break what? my neck. I could have okay. easily broken my neck. I know. I could have done the same thing. Uh, okay. Anyways, tell your tell your story. Like I accidentally let so go. Was, this was all a secret. Until the next day. <laughs> Until you had to tell your mom. Mom, yeah. mom, you should probably go to the hospital. Well, no. The thing is, I didn't even know I was bleeding. Uh-huh. I just fell and I was, I was hurt. I was hurt. Not to the point where I started crying. Yeah, I just went back to bed and was like, ow. But yeah, I fell. But the thing is, I had this Mario Kart set on my floor. And I fell and I hit my head on the, like, the edges were kind of sharp. And I hit my head on the edge where it's sharp. And I think that's what caused it to crack open. Because yeah. it was a carpet floor. So yeah, it was like, Ow! Mm. And so I, I went back up to the um to the uh, bunk bed, climbed right. up the ladder, and like I I always had this pillow that my mom said that she won in a bet or something while she was like at a casino or something. And so I got that, and then yeah. It was a Superman pillow. It was very small. It was like square. Is that that one that I have in there? Except it's a Captain America one, I think. Oh, no, Avengers no, not one? the Avengers one. No. No, I know, but it's like the, the same kind of pillow, right? No, no, no. no. It's fluffy in the inside. Hey, that is well, fluffy. Yeah, it's a different okay? it's type of fluffy. fluffy. It's like fluffy. Yeah, but the, the, the outside isn't like fuzzy. Mm. It's like silky. It's like silky smooth. No. Are you sure? Okay, well, no, it's fuzzy, but it's, like, not that kind of fuzzy. No, what kind of fuzzy? <laughs> it's, like, tiny little fuzzes, not, like, big fuzzes. Okay, never mind. But I'm confused. <laughs> I what always kind go... of pillow did, did your mom get you? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. okay, so, yeah, I always called it my healing pillow. And like, is that I like don't... the pillow you drag around the house, even if it's dirty? <laughs> no, like, I, like whenever I'm out? hurt, I would put it on, on my whatever's hurt, mm-hmm. and I would think that it heals me, but really, I realize now that it's a comfort thing. That's yeah, it, it just, it just, pillow. yeah, it just like it kind of takes away the pain. It doesn't heal it or anything. It just, like, it makes the pain less noticeable because it's soft and comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the next morning, I realized that, like, that I cracked my head open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, it wasn't well, very okay, fun. so what happened? At the, so what did your mom do? My mom asked to look at it, and I showed her not really sure what happened but she said that like I cracked my head open or something and then I had to get it glued back together 
And the picture that my dad took of my head was very disgusting. I know, right? I asked him to, though. So, yeah, that's my story. Let me guess. Very boring. No, it's actually not bad, Ryan. Um, okay. How... Cool. It's all good in Apple Wood. How did you... Okay, so... How, okay, when you were at the hospital, um, how did you... Like, did it hurt getting glued back together? No. No? Did they freeze it at all, or... They, about, like, they knocked me unconscious. <laughs> really? You were that freaked out? No, 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 no. They gave me one of the sleeping pill things. I don't... The thing is, I don't even remember taking it. Or anything. No, they probably, they, it was probably in liquid form. For kids, it's probably like, it's, you probably had a drink of water. It was in the water. No. No? You don't remember? Or no. did they put a needle in your arm? No. No? No. I just, I don't think you can remember at all. Okay, I have a similar story. Oh. Uh. Okay. I don't know if it's going to beat your story. We're not here to beat each other up. So. <laughs> Okay, so I was probably, I was probably about your age. I was probably, well, your age now. I was probably about eight, nine, well, eight, nine, yeah. I'm older than that. Yes, but anyways, around the same age. Okay, yeah, and around. And I, I always walked home from school, and the walk home from school is usually about 20 minutes to half an hour. And I always walked, I sometimes walked home with this other kid. I don't remember him being in, in, in my class, my, my classroom, but... Uh, I always found myself walking with him, right? And we'd talk here and there about whatever. And um, so one day we decided to do a little roughhousing, right? I don't think we were actually friends. I think we just, you know, started talking. Eventually just had a... One thing leads to another. Yeah, pretty much, right? So we were roughhousing, and I remember we were up this uh, catwalk, uh, and it was on a slight hill, and then... When we leave the catwalk, there is an open gate, right? Those metal gates. And once you open that gate, there's a whole park. There's trees, there's swing sets, right? And it was probably from there to my house, probably a 10 minute walk. And so we were roughhousing and he drop kicked me. Like, he, well, he had me in a headlock well, yeah, it was a headlock, not a drop kick. He had me in a headlock, and I asked him to let go because he was hurting. He let go, and he dropped, I dropped on my head, and I landed on a pop can or a beer can, and it cut my head, right? Oh. So it hurt. So I got up, right, and I'm feeling my head, right, rubbing it, and I see a little blood. And of course, I'm your age. A little blood? Well, it was <laughs> like a small handful of blood, right? At that age, I was afraid of blood. It freaked me out, right? And so I looked at it, and I'm, sc I'm crying right away. I was like, oh, my God, blood, right? So I'm <laughs> shooting I'm shooting back home, running home, right? This kid's following me, and uh, I'm screaming and crying. I get into the house, and what the house was like, there was uh, like a fence of trees, right, uh, against the park, and then the house. Right, so I jump within the house or jump within the trees, and then there's the pro our property, and then it was like the main drive. It goes up this hill, and then there's the house. So I, I run into the house, and I'm screaming and crying. Everybody's like, "What the is happening?" And I run to the washroom, right, trying to clean the blood up. But of course, when you have blood and water, it just looks like there's more It looks more, more blood. blood, right? So I'm cleaning it off, and all I see is more blood coming. And I'm screaming and hauling, like, blue murder. And I'm like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going <laughs> to die, right? And then all these, all like, well, like my, my sister was there. A couple other family members there. My mom wasn't home. She was working. I think the guy that she was seeing at the time wasn't there either. So it was just all a bunch of teenagers in the house. And... They're all just, they're all freaking out because I'm freaking out and like no one's seen the cut yet so they don't know how deep it is or how bad it was. So they, um, so they're looking and they're like, that's not a big deal. Like, like it's just a little bit of blood. And they're explaining to me like, cause you're putting water over it. It looks like there's more blood. And so my, uh, this kid, his dad comes running over. He, he enters the house cause he can hear me fucking screaming and he's a doctor here apparently. 
And uh, so he goes in, he checks it out. He's just like, oh, it's a little cut. Don't, it's not, not even worth stitching. Everybody's looking at me like, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, my, that's my story, you know, when compared to yours. And then after that, it's like it hurt. It throbbed a little bit, uh, but I was fine after that, that evening. So I didn't have to go to the <laughs> hospital or anything like that. But I was like... Unlike you, who were just, who's you know you got it checked out by your mom, but you weren't crying. Me, I was screaming blue murder. You know, I thought I was gonna die. I thought my head split open, like for real. I'm too young to die. Yeah.